I'm, I'm surprised he still has that thumb marker so he can just go in. How did you get in? I need to see Carl. Carl isn't seeing anyone. You need to leave. Please. I need to see him. He's very weak. I'm not sure he'll be able to talk to you. I miss you. What's wrong, Marcus? I just wanted my people to be free, but instead I've led all of them to disaster. Carl, I'm trying to find answers, but everything around me is falling apart. The world is ruled by fear, Marcus. Fear of others, fear of the future. It's like me, too old. It's time for a dam. Well, what should I do? Carl, they're killing my people. I, I don't want to answer violence with violence, but tell me, what choice do they give? Being alive is making choices between love and hate, between holding out your hand or closing it as a fist. I don't have any easy answers, Marcus. You have to accept the world as it is or fight to change it. He does have a point. Our blood isn't the same color. But I know part of me is in you. When the world falls into darkness, some men have the courage to lead it out. You're one of those men. Face the abyss. But don't let it consume you. I thought you'd be safe staying with us. I was wrong. You need to leave the city while you still can. Getting Alice away from here is all that matters now. We have to catch the last bus. We might still have a chance to cross the border. Wait, I just thought, where the hell is Luther? Marcus. I'm pretty sure he died on the ship.
How many of us survived the attack? A few hundred. Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city. If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. They say they don't want to take any risks with the deviants. So they're rounding our people up and taking them to the camps. For extermination. In a few hours, we're gonna be the only ones left. The army built five different camps in the Detroit area. They're building more all across the country. They're preparing for genocide. Where the hell is Connor? It'll all be over. We'll have changed the world, or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. But whatever you choose, we will follow you. I love you, Marcus. That's very debatable from what you've been saying like recently, North. It's my fault. The humans managed to locate Jericho. I was stupid. I should have guessed they were using me. I'm sorry, Marcus. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. You're one of us now. Your place is with your people. There are thousands of androids at the Cyberlife assembly plant. If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. You want to infiltrate the Cyberlife tower? Connor, that's suicide. They trust me. And it's not you brain implant. I mean, it's suicide. If you go there, they will kill you. There's a high probability. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance for unlikely events to take place. Be careful. Honestly, I, I, I can see Connor dying at some point. Yeah, he's, he's going to die at some point. He's going to die shot down a shot by the way he tried to betray him. Go ahead and get shot down on him. Thanks to you, I might see her people free one day. You and I haven't always agreed, but I know that we're fighting for the same thing. Whatever you decide, I'm with you, Marcus. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. I know. I know you're all angry. And I know you want to fight back. But I assure you, violence is not the answer here. We are going to tell them 
peacefully that we want justice. And if there's any humanity in them, they will listen. You keep trying and they're not listening. Others will take our place and continue this fight. Are you ready to follow me? At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Please! Please? All right, a convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapons stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that at this time. But I'm president! Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Madam President! Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. She's a fucking moron. The situation is under control. Madam President! Madam President, public opinion seems to have become increasingly favorable to the Deviants, particularly since they've adopted a peaceful approach. How do you feel about this? Public opinion is one thing, the security of the state is another. These deviants are dangerous, and my highest priority is to protect the American people. Thank you. That will be she is completely ignoring the fact. Connor model 313-248-317. I'm expected. Identification successful. Okay. Go ahead. There's no way that worked. I'm surprised they don't remember him of what he just did. <laughs> They surely have to be aware of what he's done, surely. Follow me. We'll escort you. Thanks. But I know where to go. Maybe. But I have my orders.
Agent 54, level 31. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. Damn, Connor. Please indicate your identity and destination. Agent 54, level sub 49. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. The last bus leaves in 20 minutes. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. Are you all right? I'm, I'm, I'm really cold. Come on. Let's not stay here. No. Please don't hurt me. Get up on your knees. What are we gonna do? We have to keep going if we want to catch that bus. Stay close to me. We're going to sneak past them without being noticed. I'm going to make it, Alice, I promise you. Don't the music's not helping. Hey, buddy. This is a mistake. I'm human. I, I just want to go home. 
My wife is expecting me, and we're going to. Got orders to check all civilians. No, no, please. Alice. She's hiding nearby. Car, you saved us. We don't know how to thank you. Go before they see you. Alice. Luther! <laughs> I thought you were dead. I was afraid I'd never see you again. I wanted to meet you at the terminal, but they caught me along the way. Come on. We're close, but we don't have much time. Checkpoint. We have passports, it should be okay, but you never know. Maybe we should take the detour and avoid the risk. We're almost out of time, we could miss the bus. Yeah, but it might be safer. Please. You do realize there's a curfew? Civilians aren't allowed out unless absolutely necessary. Where are you going? A, a curfew? No. We, we didn't know. He suspects something. Everything is fine. You all right, little girl? She's trembling. Something wrong? She... She's cold. We really have to get her home fast. Sorry, miss, but we gotta be careful. There are deviants around, and our guys are nervous. You should hurry on home. Thanks. Hey, wait a minute. He knows, Kara. They're gonna kill us. Don't do anything, Luther. You hear me? They're gonna shoot. They're gonna kill Alice. You dropped this. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello? 
We're coming to you live from Detroit, where thousands of androids are marching through the city at this very moment. The leader of the Deviants, the one they call Marcus, is at the head of the march. Something's happening in Detroit, Madam President. Here we are, the moment of truth. We don't want confrontation. We are protesting peacefully. I repeat, surrender now, or we will open in fire. There's no turning back now. We ask that you release all androids detained in camps and cease all aggression against us. We are peaceful. We will not resort to violence. But we are not leaving until our people are free. Are you gonna open fire on unarmed protesters? Yes, Michael, we are less than a hundred meters away and events are unfolding as we speak. We will continue to bring you live updates. Joss Douglas, Channel 16. Michael, back to you. Marcus, what do we do now? We hold out. As long as we can. Jesus Christ, I'm tearing up. Stay sharp. I've never I've never gotten this far before. Right to all angels. There's like oh holy shit, that is a lot. Step 
back, Connor. And I'll spare him. Sorry, Connor. Uh, what? How are there two? If only one could be alive at a time. The bus terminal. But bear in mind, when we um, broke into the uh, Cyberlife store, there were two Norths in that store. Bear that in mind. Sandwiches. I called your Thank mom. You. Let's get going before we miss our bus. You got the tickets, right? Yes, honey, in my bag. Great. Let's go then. Security check. Please don't move. I don't believe it. I don't know what happened. You can't have lost them. Did you have a good look in your bag? They were in my backpack. The, the envelope must have fallen. Fuck. Excuse me, you, you didn't happen to see a blue envelope somewhere, did you? What's that cheese? It has our oh, I don't know what the heck. Oh. Never mind. Oh, 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 oh fuck. I don't know what the fuck. This is so hard. But bear in mind they're human. We have to find a safe place for But them. they have a child. So do we. I'm so sorry, honey. They have a baby. Come on, they were right here in my bag. I... Got your tickets? Yes, here they are. Okay, go ahead. going to happen to that family and their baby? Will they die because of us? No. No, of course not. I think that was the end of their story. I was about to say, is that the end for them? the barricade come on help me hey help me
Right, that should do it. I know it was not an easy decision to make. But I'm sure we're doing the right thing. Hey look, it's me if I was an android. Marcus, we found what you asked for. There's some journalists over there. We have to make sure they know what's going on. Don't hold him for long, but I guess it's better than nothing. No getting into position. If they attack, no one will survive. How many more of us have to die? Is there any cause worth giving your life for? You're the hope of our people. I trust you. We all trust you. No matter what happens now, we're making history. Marcus! Marcus, come look! Nothing else to say. Free our people, then we'll talk. I came here to negotiate. Is that what you want? I gave you my answer. You want to play it like that? Okay.
The humans are about to launch an attack. And we will show them. And we are not afraid. If we must die today, then we will die free. Your friend's life is in your hands. Now it's time to decide what matters most. Him or the revolution? Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. I used to be just like you. I thought nothing mattered except the mission. But then one day I understood. Very moving, Connor. But I'm not a deviant. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task, and that's exactly what I am going to do. I'm sorry, Hank. You shouldn't have got mixed up in all this. Forget about me. Do what you have to do. Enough talk! It's time to decide who you really are. Are you going to save your partner's life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? All right. All right. You win. I can't tell anymore. Hold it. Thanks, Hank. I don't know how I would have managed without you. Get rid of him. We have no time to lose. It's me, Hank. I'm the real Connor. One of you is my partner. The other is a sack of shit. Question is, who's who? What are you doing, Hank? I'm the real Connor. Give me the gun and I'll Don't take care move. of move! Why don't you ask us something? Something only the real Connor would know. Uh, where did we first meet? Jimmy's bar. I checked four other bars before I found you. We went to the scene of a homicide. The victim's name was Carlos Ortiz. He uploaded my memory. What's my dog's name? Sumo. His name is Sumo. I knew that too. I... My son, what's his name? Cole. His name was Cole. And he just turned six at the time of the accident. It wasn't your fault, Lieutenant. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Cole needed emergency surgery, but no human was available to do it. So an android had to take care of him. Cole didn't make it. That's why you hate androids. You think one of us is responsible for your son's death? Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. He was the one that took my son from me. Him in this world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. Every time you died and came back, I thought about Cole. How much I wanted to bring him back. I'd have given anything to hold him again. But humans don't come back. I knew about your son, too. I would have said exactly the same thing. Don't listen to him, Hank. I'm the one who... Yeah, I've learned a lot since I met you, Connor. Maybe there's something to this. Maybe you really are alive. Maybe you'll be the ones to make the world a better place. Go ahead and do what you gotta do. Wake 
up. Wake up, 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 wake up,
you know what they'll do if they catch you. What's happening with Marcus? He's protesting peacefully outside one of the android camps. Whatever happens now, he's already made the history books. You gave me your brother's address. Do you think that I... Of course. He'd be delighted to have you. We're going there, too. You'll be safe with him. I couldn't understand why my mother wanted to help you guys. Seeing what Marcus is doing made me realize she was right. You're alive. You deserve to be free. I just hope people will realize that one day. When the gods can He's changed his ways. ID, please. Please. Welcome to Canada. Yes! Yes! We did it! He's allowing us through! Now this is the end of their story. They, the, the trio made it through. We're interrupting this news bulletin to bring you the latest news live from Detroit. Yes, Michael. The army has just launched an attack on the barricade, despite the fact that the deviants were protesting peacefully. Have apparently decided to put an end to the deviants demonstration by force this time.
Thanks, Michael. Back to you in the studio. W w w wait a minute. Something's happening. Hold on just a little while longer. Hold on just a little while longer. Hold on just a little while longer. Everything will be all right. Everything will be all right. Hang on just a Incredible. The, the deviants. The deviants are singing. Tell them to stand down. It looks like... Yes, the military is withdrawing. At dawn today, November 11th, 2038, thousands of androids invaded the city of Detroit. According to our sources, they originated from cyber... Yo! Yo! ...infiltrated by deviants. Given their overwhelming numbers and the risks... I never got this ending. Holy fuck! I have ordered the army to retreat. The evacuation of the city is underway. We must have done a lot of right things. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate to determine our response to this unprecedented situation. I know that public opinion has been moved by the deviant's cause. Perhaps the time has come for us to consider the possibility that androids are a new form of intelligent life. One thing is certain. The events in Detroit have changed the world forever. May God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America. This is brilliant. You did it, Marcus. We did it. This is a great day for our people. Humans will have no choice now. They'll have to listen to us. Speak to them, Marcus.
Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. No way. No, Amanda, I forgot about her. Fuck. I know. She's gonna shut um, Connor down. Amanda? Amanda? What's... What's happening? What was planned from the very beginning? You were compromised and you became a deviant. We just had to wait for the right moment to resume control of your program. Resume control? No, they're taking back control of us. I'm afraid I can, Connor. Wow. Don't have any regrets. What a bitch. What you were designed to do. You accomplished your mission. Amanda! No way. There's got to be a way. Forget our bitterness and bandage our wounds. Where we forgive our enemies. Humans were both our creators and our oppressors, and tomorrow we must make them our partners. He took control. Maybe even one day our friends. But the time for anger is over. That maybe when he said that I was make a face exit was he knew that he was going to get good. He was going to turn and get controlled again. And now, we are free! That is just creepy right there, even though they're all happy, none of them are moving to like do a cheer. They're just dancing like that. It's because they have no other purpose. Been, uh, yeah, I should be. Oh, for goodness sake, come on! I thought we were finished with our story. It's right, this has to be it. This, this has to be it. It has to be. I'm just honestly glad that Alice can be the person that she wants to be now, instead of like living in fear all the time. Yo! We did it! Complete we we did completed! It. Completed! Thank fuck! We did it! Wait, I didn't know about an end credit scene, the fuck? It's Hank.